nothing. Hey, hey we're, we're today, today the moon, moon tomorrow, tomorrow the sun, and you're watching Indie ATL. I'm Craig, I play guitar. I'm Lauren, I play guitar and keys and sing. And I'm Micah, and I play bass and keys. Um, you know, we share, we pretty much share the load, but like Craig is a great engineer and he engineers all our albums. He, Jeremy, fixes our van. <laughs> He's a mechanic. Um, Lauren and I do the booking and um, a lot of the communication. Craig, he's like a, he gets stuff done. He's like a decision maker a lot of times. Mike is always like really good at smoothing situations over too. Like she could be our PR person. I don't know what I do. I jump around on stage a lot. I think we all try to make sure that we're doing our part. We all kind of keep each other in check. A lot of times our fans are super helpful. Yes. Yeah. yeah, instrumental to getting us into new cities or many of them end up becoming good buddies. So um, that's the best part of, I guess, doing music at the, the level that we do it is it's just still so approachable. So like... They feel like they're a part of something, you know. They might not be on stage. They might But they not, are. They're totally a but, part of it. Yeah, and, and they're totally... They're the fifth, sixth, seventh, hundredth member of this band, you know. and. And really, I mean, that's what it's about for us, is making connections. With my good ear, I listen to the ground. I think also the fact that we wrote these songs as a collection time, whereas in the past, we might have written songs long ago, and then we were like, oh, we have enough songs for this EP. Right. Let's just put them on an EP. But this is, this is an actual cohesive, you know, collection of songs that we created. Because everything was written in the studio, we worked it out in the studio. And just, we didn't care if it was going to work live or not, we just wanted to make songs that, like, that made sense to us. Because we were such a live band, it made us do something we've never, we had never done before, and um, I think it comes across in the record, the hard work, I mean, it really is, I think it's the closest thing we've done that, to what we sound like. elements involved in it because it's always hard going to a new city and then trying to find like the venue you your sound should be at but you know we can end up in like a hard rock club you know one night and people are like man that's awesome it's, it's cool to see some people feel something when you play and it's yeah, dance, like, yeah I think that that's the, what's really cool I think about having dance elements in your band is that it's like physically creates um, motion you know like and and you can see someone like feeling it for you know for real, but when you do get people moving, that's a really fun element to play with, I think. Because they become part of the show. All right. We want it to be more of a collaborative effort than just one person's vision. Most of the songwriting happens in the studio. Like, it's where we can come together. You know, that way the music continues to change and it's always evolving.
Um, the Atlanta scene's awesome. It's always evolving, it's always changing, it's like a rotating door. There's just so many fantastic venues here. <laughs> there's probably once or twice a week there's a great show going on. But we play 15 to 20 dates a, a month, so we can't we always... Yeah, we can't always go out to the shows, and when we are town, we have to work and things like that. We're not here at all, and it's like, I hate it. There are all these places that we love to be, but it literally, yeah. I can think of more bands out of town yeah. right now. If we go out, it's probably to a show. It's at a show. It's, so, you know, we're at the Earl, we're at 529.